be painting the Datsun. A little bit behind schedule, so I'll try and do as much as I can today. Probably start with pulling the bumpers off, because those need to come off regardless. I'm going to leave the windshield and hatch window to last, because I don't know for certain that I'm going to be pulling them off. I'd like to for the sake of completion, but it's a fair bit more money for the... I'll show you later. If at any point you see me wearing my respirator, it's not because I'm painting yet, it's just because of air pollution. So these seals are basically made of rock right now, and that means as soon as I take them off they have to be replaced. So the bumpers are just affixed with two nuts on each side, and then the other far side's the exact same. Um, to actually get the like piston out, I don't know, I'll have to check the manual because I've never done that before. In other vehicles it's again similar couple bolts, but in here it's just this large chunk of metal some sort of casing for it. And over here I noticed this hose, it's some sort of a drain or something for inside. I don't know, it kind of smells like gas over here, which is a bit concerning. Fuel, whatever your preference. These straps will need replacing eventually. Ideally I'd replace them with something that's not going to rust. Same with the actual fuel tank. So far, I haven't had problems with stuff getting stuck in the fuel filters, but at some point, that's likely to happen. And replacing the tank with a plastic one would be nice for weight savings, and just for the sake of never having to deal with rust again. What do you think? Should I drop the exhaust, and while I'm at it, once I'm done, throw the new transmission in? It would make painting just a touch easier, so... Well, or I could just pull it and then deal with the leaking exhaust for a while. Maybe I'll do that. Ah! I think a washer would be the easy part. There we go. I don't want to yank it and rip a hole in the tent. It's falling. Well, I have a hammer handy, so. I feel bad about that. I'm sorry, Bumper. Why you wear safety glasses? It's going to fall in my eye at some point. Okay. Noted. Several gentle kicks followed by some stripping of the threads.
Yep. That's why you don't do that. But I wanted to get rid of it anyway. Want to see what it looks like? Kind of looks like a carp. It's a little too open for my liking. But I was looking at it the other day and I thought it might be cool if where those indicator lights are. The hood kind of drooped down a little bit. Here, drooped down kind of at the corners. Maybe make something in Photoshop to show you. Don't bet on it just because editing takes so long anyway. But it would just give it a little bit less basic of a shape. So here's what I came up with. I was envisioning more of like a sag or a melted look, but I didn't have the patience to make that. However, in the process, I did come across this, and I thought this maybe looks better. I kind of like that. And from that, this. So I don't know. If you guys like any of those, let me know, and maybe I will give a try to making the hood like that. At the front, these are secured with just two bolts. Yep, just two. So I could take them off, but at the front there's less need to. We'll see where things go. So I've decided I'm going to pull everything else off on the front, and then if I have time I'm going to take all of this stuff out uh, and then paint further in. It's quite the moth. So the coolant reservoir isn't supposed to be there. The previous owner just wired it to the lower grill with some bailing wire, I guess.
That's it for today. If you would like to follow along, subscribe. A lot of people watching don't have accounts, which is interesting. So, hey, you know, give it a try. It might make things a lot easier for you. If not, don't worry about it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.